Hey guys, it's Nancy. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to um, do complete line, linear equations in standard form, like this. And this is S11, Algebra 1, which is 9th grade, but I'm in 8th grade. Um, and this is IXL. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to do this review with you guys after this, but let me just explain all this because I actually had to teach this on my by myself like I had to learn it online I went to like 10 different things to actually fully learn it it's a little complicated at first but you'll get the hang of it so okay this is what you do so you're probably like what the heck is this I know well the first thing you're gonna have to do is find the LCM which is least common multiple so, you want to go to the denominators, mm -hmm, 8 and 7, and the smallest number, of course, here is 7. So, you go to the 7, and what's 7 times 2? It's 14. 8 times 2, and it doesn't, 8 times 2 is 16, so we can't do that. Um, what's 7 times 3? It's 21. 8 times 3 is... 24. 7 times 4 is 28. And 8 times 4 is 32. 7 times 5 is 35. 8 times 5 is 40. 7 times 6 is uh, 42. 8 times 6 is 48. Or 46. And, um... 7 times 7 is 49, I'm pretty sure. 8 times 7, wait a second. Yeah, 8 times 7 is 56. And then um, 7 times 8 is 56. And then 8 times 7 is 56. Okay, so the least common multiple is 56. <laughs> That took me a while, but whatever. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do 56. You're going to want to write that in parentheses so you don't get confused. And then you're going to want to do equals 56, 7 over 8x plus 6 over 7. Okay, so 56 times y is 56y, duh, equals... 56 times 7 is, hold on, let me get my calculator out. Okay, so we're doing 56 times 7. That's what you're going to want to do. 56 times 7 is 392, right? But we don't write that down. 392, right? Then divide by 8. So times these two, then divide the answer by 8 by the denominator. So 392 divided by 8. It's 49. So the answer is 49x. Because you add the x right here. You can't forget the x. And then you do add the plus sign. And then I'm supposed to add 56 here. Oops. But you could just do 56 here. Okay. So 56 times 6 is 56 times 6 is 336 okay but we need to divide um, 336 by 7 because that's the denominator so 336 divided by 7 that's 48 so it's plus 48 and there's no variables at the end so it's just 48 okay so after this what you're gonna wanna do is okay this is just one of the rules I did not make this up this is the math rules okay so you see where X is right now X this number right here is positive right okay if it was a negative then you would just put you would make it a positive and you would just put 49, because if this was negative 49x, this is negative 49x, then it would be, we, we would translate it to 49x plus 56y equals 48. 
but it's not negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a negative. So we're going to make it its opposite. It's a positive, so we're going to make it negative. If it was a negative, we would make it a positive. So it's a positive, so we're making it negative. So it's 49x, negative 49x, and then plus 56y equals 48. You're probably like, how did you get that, Nancy? Okay, well, um, this is the formula. I'll write it down right here. It's ax plus by equals c. c is for constant. I don't know what the a and b stand for. But anyway, so I, I just cross these out. I just, I pretend they're blocks. These are the answers. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do is time something by x. So you're, you're going to want to take 49x, which is basically bx, and then you add it by y because that's what the next thing is, and then equals this. So then the remainder is 48. It's a little confusing, but whatever. Because this is bx, and then this is, this is, wait, no, this is ax, and then this is by equals c. Get it? Like, that's the y, that's the c, that's the x. Okay. So anyway, after you do that, you're done. That's your answer. Don't forget that negative. So I'm going to type that in. I excel. It's negative 49x plus 56y equals 48. What? How did I get that wrong? Oh god, this is embarrassing. Okay, I got everything right, but the... What? Hold on one second. Negative 56. Oh, I, we forgot one step, guys. We're not, we're not done, I lied. Because you have to... <sighs> oh, okay, okay, okay. You have to multiply both sides by negative 1. So it would be negative 1, negative 49x plus 56y equals 48. And then negative 1. So it would be negative 1 times negative 49x is 49x because the negative times negative is a positive. And then negative 1 times 56y is minus negative 56y because negative times a positive is a negative and then equals 48 times negative 1 is negative 48 yeah this is this is the correct answer right here yeah I, f I forgot one step I'm sorry guys um it's you have to multiply both sides by negative 1 and you're probably like how well that's those are just the rules so it's either that or you just basically got to memorize it and just keep just do a thousand problems and you'll know by heart like I'm not even kidding you have to you basically have to memorize it because it's not really about like you add this to this side and stuff it's more like these are the rules you know like that's what you got to follow so yeah, I'm sorry guys, I forgot that one step. So you gotta do that. And that's your that should be the right answer.
But because I did it wrong, I got my points lowered down. Okay, anyway. So the next problem is y equals negative 6x minus 5. So y equals negative 6x minus 5. So what you're going to want to do here is simple. 6x plus y equals negative 5. Because remember how I said here it's bx plus, no, it's ax plus by, or what is it again? It's, a, oh yeah, it's ax plus by equals c. So, this is ax plus y, this is by equals c, which is this. So, uh, then you have to multiply both sides by negative 1. I'm pretty sure. Right? Is that what you do? Hold on a second. Oh, I don't want to make another mistake. Yeah, you do. You do have to, actually, I think. Okay, so negative 1 times 6x is uh, negative 6x. Yeah. And then plus, no, it's not plus. It's negative 1 plus y is, there's an invisible 1 here. So negative 1 plus, well, it's multiplying. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. But we don't, I'm not going to put the 1 there, so it's y. It's just y. Negative y equals, and then um, negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. Because a, a negative times a negative equals a positive. And that is your answer right here. I'm pretty sure. Let me type this in. Negative 6x minus y equals 5. Are you serious? Oh my god. I was right. You didn't have to multiply both sides by negative 1. You know why? Because since this is a negative, because since this is a negative 6x, you don't have to convert it. You, you, you trade it into a positive. If this was a positive, if this was a positive, then you would have to multiply both sides by negative 1. But it's not a positive. It was a negative. Whenever the x is a negative, you don't have to multiply both sides by 1. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll just do the next problem. Okay, this time I'm going to get it right. I promise. Okay, so the next problem is y equals 8x minus 2 over 7. Okay. So it would be negative 8x plus y equals negative 2 over 7. And then you're going to want to do... You're going to want to multiply... Wait, no, you're not. Mm, yeah, you are. Times negative 7... If there was no denominator here and it was just negative 2, you would divide both sides by negative 1. But there's a 7 there, so it would be negative 7, not because you, you do the opposite. But if this was a negative, we wouldn't have to, to you know multiply on both sides. But because it's a positive, we have to convert it into um, negative and whatever. Oh, my God, whatever. Okay, so a neg negative 7 times negative 8x. Forget the x, so negative 7 times negative 8. So negative times negative is positive, so 7 times 8, 56. D6x. And then negative 7 plus y, so it's just negative 
7y equals negative 7 times negative 2 is 14 divided by 7, which is 2. Okay, this has to be the right answer right here. So 56, 56x minus 7y equals 2. It has to be right. Yes! It just said wonderful. I got it right. Now I have 50 points. Yay! Okay. So that is the correct answer. I told you guys I promised it would be correct. Do you, are you starting to get it now? Well, I'm going to do a few more examples. Okay, this video is 15 minutes long, so I'm going to make a part two. And this is, um, this is going on private, not public. Actually, Mm, yeah, it's going on private. Okay, this is for future Nancy. Actually, no, it's not for, for future Nancy. But, yeah, part two. See you in a flash.